The trader is just one of only two roles within Red Dead Online that is actually a business. It doesn't pay the most money, it doesn't pay the most gold, and it doesn't provide the most XP, but it is a passive role. Once it is set up, you can let this run in the background whilst you do other activities and this will continuously generate money. And in today's video, I'm going to be going through exactly step by step in how you do that. This is the ultimate guide to the trader. So initially when first starting a trader for you to enter into this role you'll need to go through a cutscene a cutscene with cribs upon talking with him he'll tell you about a new business venture that he has in mind which is the cribs trading company he'll run you through the initial plans and ideas of everything and then you'll need to spend 15 gold bars Cribs tells you with this initial investment, it's enough to buy into the butcher table, but there's a few extra things that you'll need to go alongside it. You'll need to source equipment and take it back to wherever your trader camp is. Once delivered, your trader business is now all set up, but it isn't going to be run in the most efficient way as possible. Now for me to explain why this is, we need to explain how the trader camp actually works. The trader, you don't really need to do too much. It is mainly a menu system. When talking to cribs, there are three main sections being materials, production and goods. Materials is where you'll donate carcasses, skins, pelts, any type of animal part that can actually be used with a trader. Production is you having supplies so that you can generate those materials into goods. And there are two different ways in which you can get supplies. You can either order supplies, which costs $20, or you can do a supply mission. The choice is really up to you. And then with goods, this is how many goods Cribs has been able to make. And typically it takes two minutes to create one good. And once you get to 25 goods, so 50 minutes, that is when you'll need to come back to Cribs to go and do the production again, either by ordering supplies or completing a supply mission. This is how this business works through and through, no matter whether or not you're just starting or if you're a max rank rank 20 trader, it's the exact same. The difference though is that right at the beginning when you first start, you're only able to do deliveries at 25 goods. This is because you'll have a small delivery wagon and this is going to slow down your progress. Because for every single delivery that you do, the more goods that you have, the more money you'll be rewarded with at the end. But unfortunately, the small delivery wagon can only do 25 goods at a time, and you cannot increase this for that delivery wagon. You may have 100 goods with cribs, but you will only be able to do a maximum of 25 until you upgrade the wagon. For you to upgrade this, you will first need to buy into the medium delivery wagon, which will allow you to take 50 goods at a time. And then once you've bought into the medium wagon, you can then buy into the large delivery wagon, which will allow you to take 100 goods at a time. For those of you that would like to skip buying into the medium delivery wagon, you can't. You must first need to buy into the medium delivery wagon before you buy into the large. I know it doesn't make sense. Really, if you wanted to and you had the money and also you had the rank, you really should just be able to buy into the large delivery wagon as they are two completely separate vehicles. But unfortunately, that's just not the way that it works. For you to generate 100 goods, it's going to take you anywhere between three to four hours. And the reason that there isn't a set specific time is because it does come down to whether or not you are buying supplies or if you're completing resupply missions. If you're completing resupply missions, it's going to be slightly quicker as long as you are completing them first time. If you're buying supplies, you need to wait about 15, 20 minutes every single time for them to be delivered to your camp until that happens, you cannot start production. When first starting this role, I highly recommend that you do the resupply missions. This role is one of the most difficult for you to progress simply because there isn't many activities where Rockstar rewards you with XP. If you order supplies, you will get zero, absolutely nothing. So even though you are building up the amount of goods available at your business, you do not get any XP from it, but you do get XP from the missions after completing. I also highly recommend heading over to a location such as St. Denis where you're able to find tons of birds. There are birds flying over every couple of seconds. And for you to fill up your trader, I recommend going for those more than anything else. 
they do not give you the most materials when starting out. But one key detail with donating goods to the trader business is no matter the animal, no matter the animal parts, whether or not it's a carcass or something as small as a feather, you'll always be getting 5 XP. So if you really did want to grind this role and try to progress it as quickly as possible, it makes sense for you to go for bird feathers in order for you to resupply your business. They are still going to be giving you 5 XP, but this time they're going to give you 0.15 materials, which is incredibly low, but it does mean for you to max out the most amount of materials, you will need to get a lot of feathers and each feather that you donate will be giving you 5 XP every single time, which is so much better than you finding three or four cougars donating them, which will give you anywhere between 13 to 15 materials each, but you still only getting 5 XP from them. That way you're only going to get 15 to 20 XP. But this is only if you're really trying to grind out this role right at the beginning. In most cases, you probably don't need to. With the trader, it's also recommended to do sell deliveries only once you've reached the maximum amount that you possibly can reach. So yet again, if you do only have that small delivery wagon, don't sell goods if you've got 24. Wait until it hits 25 because there is an extra boost for the amount of money that you're able to get just because you've got that extra good. Selling at 24, you're going to get considerably less. This is also the exact same with 50. Don't sell at 49. You might as well wait until you reach 50. And also don't sell at 99. You might as well wait until you reach 100. It's that final good at the end, which adds a massive money boost on top compared to if you sold any other time before that. For you selling 100 goods, the money will change, either being 500 or 625. Reason for this is because it comes down to whether or not you do a short distance delivery or a long distance delivery. If you do a short distance delivery, you're much closer to the destination and you'll only get $500. If you do long distance, you'll get more money, but that also comes more risk because it will send out an alert to nearby traders who can attack your trader wagon. I highly recommend that you do the long distance delivery every single time, $625. Reason for this is because even though this game sends out an alert to nearby traders who can attack you, it also doesn't matter. Red Dead Online is not as harsh as what GTA Online is. With GTA Online, if you try to do a bunker sell, or maybe you go for an MC business to go and sell some of your product from those, if another player destroys your vehicle within free roam whilst on those deliveries, you lose those goods. You lose those products, it's over. But with Red Dead Online, if someone steals your wagon, it doesn't actually make any difference. If they are successful in their efforts and they steal the wagon away from you, once they complete the mission, you could just go back to your trader business and they're available again. You have not lost anything, they've just managed to gain something on the other end. 9 out of 10 times though, if you do a long distance delivery, most traders are not going to bother you. It's unlikely you'll even come across another player even if you need to travel from one side of the map to the other. This is just the state of Red Dead Online. Now this is the basics of going through the trader role, but there is one thing that can definitely help you out. Now this does come down to the position that you're in within Red Dead. If this is your first role going through the trader, you're going to have to keep on going through everything that we've mentioned, trying to build as much XP as possible and trying to build as much money. Eventually, you'll be able to progress. But if you have other roles unlocked, one in particular being the naturalist, well, you source the materials gets a lot easier. Instead of you going into free roam and just hunting any animal that you come across, you can head over to Harrier, talk to her and go through a legendary animal mission. With the legendary animal missions, she will tell you that you need to sedate and sample, but you can ignore that. Instead, you are going to kill and skin. Now, just because you're going against what Harrier wants doesn't mean that this is mission fell. Mission is still a success. You will now spawn back into free roam and instead of you having a sample of an animal, this time you'll have the pelt as well as a few animal parts. Now what you can do is use the hunting wagon. The hunting wagon will allow you to store animal parts in the back. And it doesn't matter if you get rid of the wagon or change lobbies or close down Red Dead and come back a week later, it saves everything. So you can store legendary animal parts in the back of your hunting wagon and use them to donate to cribs whenever you need materials. These legendary animals can give you all the way up to 60 materials at a time, depending on the animal. 
This is so much better than you having to donate any other type of animal parts to cribs, which are going to give you next to nothing. Another tip, which is definitely worth looking out for with this one, you have less control over it. This is because it's a free roam event called trade room. This is one of the best free roam events within the game. All you need to do is stand on top of a train and in all honesty, you don't even need to kill enemies. You just need to survive with each stop. For some people, they'll go to the back of the train and they'll just hide in one of the carriages, making sure that they aren't idling for too long and getting booted out, but also surviving long enough to get the goods at the end. As long as none of the goods get destroyed on a train, there will be six goods that you can use for each stop that that train makes. And normally there's three stops. So you'll get 18 goods in total. This can really speed up the process of you building your trader business. And it's really not too difficult because as said, all you need to do is survive. If you want to kill enemies, by all means, you can do so. If you just want to hide and make sure that you survive the free stops, then you could also do that. Just camp at the back of the train and you'll be gifted with 18 goods at the end. But anyway, guys, this is the only guide that you need for the trader role within Red Dead Online. We've now covered absolutely everything from starting, grinding XP, grinding money. Unfortunately, you're not able to grind gold unless it is through the daily challenges themselves, but that is no different to any other role. And of course, we've gone through some of the hidden tips that can benefit you a slightly more by going through the trade route, as well as using legendary animals instead of your normal animals within free room. If you're currently going through roles right now and you want to learn a bit more about the bounty hunter, then that video is next up. It's on screen right now. So if you click that, it'll take you directly over there where I'll guide you through exactly what you need to do step by step for you to be the most efficient within the bounty hunter role. So click that and I'll be over there to guide you through everything. Everything.